Explorers, Mr. Pruden here. It's a beautiful sunny Friday, April 3rd, I believe. And since you can't be with me, I'm still here checking out our bluebird nesting boxes to see what's going on. So when we pulled up on our bikes, we saw that there was one English house sparrow on top of the box and there was one inside. So that made me think maybe one was feeding them, the male was feeding the female. That will happen sometimes if there's baby birds in the nest. So we're gonna check the box and see, are there babies in there? Are there eggs in there? Is there a nest? What's going on? Come on, follow me. So this is the nest box right outside our classroom window. And here's what we see inside. Definitely an English house sparrow nest. It is a mess, as you can see. So I'm just gonna reach inside and feel gently. And there are no eggs that I can feel, but it definitely is a full-on nest. And since I saw two birds there when we pulled up, there's a good sign that with this beautiful weather, the female's gonna be ready to lay eggs. So what we'll wanna do, because the English house sparrow, as many of you remember, is an invasive non-native species here, and they're pretty aggressive towards the birds we wanna help, like um, Eastern bluebirds, I will probably end up trapping these birds and dispatching them somehow, so getting rid of them. So we'll discourage them or I'll take them to uh, someone who can feed them to their snake, Jim McGrath, or we'll get rid of them somehow. And I'm, I'm gonna end up taking this nest box down anyways because we wanna put a native garden in here at some point, which was supposed to happen this spring. So stay tuned, we'll go check some other here boxes. we are outside the sixth grade wing at boxes numbers two and three. So we're gonna check these. Last time we checked, I believe there was an um, English house sparrow nest in one of these boxes and the other box was empty. So let's take a look. So this box sounds empty, oh. Okay, so this is more than we saw last time. So there are some tough, some downy feathers and some other feathers in here. This is quite interesting. It looks like someone was thinking about building a nest in here, but hasn't gotten very far. So I'm not familiar with this style of construction. I think we'll leave the box alone for today, Friday, April 3rd. We'll come back in a few days and see if there's any development here. This is quite interesting. Uh, there are birds that use feathers in their nests. The tree swallow. Uh, which I'm hoping to see in the woods, does use feathers to protect and pad its nest, uh, maybe to keep the babies warm. So maybe tree swallows are in this area and we're thinking about building a nest here. Okay, so let's look at box number three. Uh, on the way over here, we saw a bluebird fly by and we did see a male and female cardinal. So this box three is still empty. We haven't seen any activity here this spring. So, all right, stay tuned. We're gonna go into the woods and see if those tree swallows are back from last year, building a nest in one of our woods boxes. All right, here we are out in Treasure Island. We're gonna go take a look at um, boxes four and five and just see if we have any activity. So far, we haven't seen anything this spring, but I'm hoping we have the tree swallows back. Let's go. This is the Gilbertson PVC box. It looks like birchwood, but it is actually PVC plastic. It's supposed to be popular with some birds, and I do see signs of someone visiting here. There's a little feather here. But so far in the two seasons we've had it up, we've had no one nesting here. Let's check the other box where the tree swallows were last year. Boy, it's such a beautiful day. There's a lot of great sounds out in the woods. A lot of birds out. No activity here either. All right. Well, that's our bird box check for Friday, April 3rd, and we'll see you soon. Bye.